Here we go. Hey, everybody. Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is a cross watcher. Wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, claim it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, please don't force fit. Sharing is caring, right? Also, whoever you are, wherever you are on the whole entire planet, shout out to you, Sag. We see you, we acknowledge you, and we are grateful for your presence. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. Whether or not anybody else has told you this, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Now let's hit this. Clearing ground for Sagittarius. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, it's my job to read and channel you this energy. It's your job to apply it from your higher self and only for your higher good, only if it applies. I'll call out the most predominant signs that surface, but anybody can be resonating in any one of their planets. So let's work with the energy here, not so much the signs. Show me the energy. All right, Sag, let's see how we can help you today. We love you. Here, let's go. We love you here in Brooklyn, Sagittarius. Okay. What do we do in Sagittarius? You got a five of swords. Conflict, tension, struggles, disputes, arguments, bullying, hostility. Somebody wanting to win at all costs. There might have even been bloodshed. Somebody might have gotten into a fist fight here and actually shed some blood. Somebody might have got a head injury. That's what I'm saying. Gee whiz, what the hell's going on out there? So, yeah, okay. Well, listen, you got a five of cups in reverse. Five of cups in reverse talks about finding peace, finding forgiveness, for everybody, mostly yourself, for not knowing what you didn't know until you knew it, okay? And moving on. You know, it's acceptance. Once you accept something, you could move on. So, you got 5-5. Five, 5-5-5 five. Five, five, five is going to be your healing sound bath. Spirit's giving to you right off the giddy app, I'm hearing, okay? 5-5-5 five, five, five megahertz, 5-5-5 five, five, five hertz is your healing sound bath. This is healing past trauma and obviously a connection to the fifth dimension. Okay, show me. So you could be getting over a very conflicted situation like, I'm, yeah, oh, here you go. Yeah, look, something ended, so something new could begin. Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. That's all that is. Something in your life ending, so, you know, you can't take everything with you. You know you'd be like a hoarder at the end of your life. Things have got to die away so that you could build new stuff. So something ended, so something new could begin, Sagittarius. I think it ended, the conflict ended, all of it. You know, whatever it is. Some people might not like, oh, look at this. The moon in reverse. Cancer and Pisces energy at the foundation. A truth was revealed. Some kind of unveiling of secrets, subsiding of anxiety, some kind of clarity, releasing of fear, and the truth shall set you free. Show me. Somebody might like mermaids here. Somebody has a red hoodie they like to wear. Somebody's boiling eggs, and they stink. I'm smelling boiling eggs. Show me what's crowning you. They're really good. I mean, it's a good high-protein stack, but boy, oh, boy, do they smell Okay, <laughs> here we go. Give me one. What's crowning Sagittarius? You look at this, walking away. This couldn't be any clearer with Sagittarius. You see, I do this right in your face. There's no fugazi shit going on on this channel. So you listen, you got some conflict, struggle, disputes. People want to win at all costs. I think that you got some people around you that don't like what you're doing. And I think what you're doing is you're forgiving yourself and moving on here. You're ending something. Something ended so something new could begin. You became very clear on whatever the hell this is. Like, the truth shall set you free. And you decided to walk away. Ten of Swords, the end, okay? The end of the painful. Listen, Ten of Swords is a painful ending. But it's the end of it. This is what I'm saying, Okay? You got 5, 5, and 10. 10, 10. 10, 10 could be an angel code today. You're getting an angel code today, too. So go put that into Google and get a message from your angel, Sagittarius. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> okay, here, show me. So now, oh, look at this. You got the three of swords in reverse, Sagittarius. Let me tell you something. If you get a three of swords, this is the freaking way you want it in reverse. This is healing, releasing pain, recovery, recovery. You know, some of you could be with reconciliation, but I, you know, listen, I got to be honest with you. If somebody put you in a three of swords upright to begin with, please think twice about reconciling with them. Don't be stupid because, you know, a line, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once a cheat, always a cheat here in Brooklyn. All right. So if you win some kind of third party situation with an no good cheating bastard, because that's what they are, don't reconcile with them. Just heal and get over it. Get over the aggravation, get over whatever conflict this was, bullying, whatever the freak it was. Forgive yourself, end it. Truth shall set you free. You're at the end of the pain. You're at the end. Ten, did I tell you the 10 was the end? 10 is the end. All right, Sag. And here you go. 
Well, here comes the Knight of Cups because you're over the pain. Okay? Cancer Pisces are Scorpio energy, but this is somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. They're very charming. They could be artistic. They're romantic. This person's romantic. This person also looks pretty freaking hot. I got to tell you the truth. I mean, look at this guy. Somebody might be getting roses. Somebody might have tattoo sleeves. Somebody likes to wear their sneakers untied. Somebody might be going on a picnic. Somebody might be getting an invitation to go on some kind of a picnic. We like that. All right? Somebody's got some kind of interest in somebody, and they want to explore it with the Knight of Cups. Somebody like my hat to wear a hat. Look, you got an ace of cups in the center of the spread. Sag. Sag. Whatever this shit was in the past, leave it. Forgive yourself and move on. Get over. Because guess what? You have a new opportunity here for intimacy, emotional awakening, love. Okay? Spirituality. It's an ace of cups. It's so good. I like this. This could be with somebody from your past. All right? This is about people, places, and things from the past. Now, we know that a lot of planets are in retrograde right now, so people could be resurfacing. God up in heaven, please don't let it be this person that did this, okay? Because you're over it. You don't want to go back this way again, right? Nobody needs that shit, all right? Anyway, some of you could be feeling nostalgic and sentimental. Some, you could be dealing with somebody who likes to wear flannel or flannel shirts or black boots or somebody could have a golden retriever. Whatever it is, though, people, places, and things or situations from the past. Nostalgic sentimentality. I think you guys are going to meet somebody that didn't do this to you from the past that you know, all right, doesn't have to be an old lover, but maybe you guys had, oop, there it goes, interest in each other, or somebody had interest in somebody. Somebody's going to get some kind of a note, a letter, or a text, or a message of some sort from somebody from the past. Listen, you got the opportunity for new love right here. New love, I'm working on that new love. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. So some of you, listen, Virgo energy, some of you might be lonely or feeling a little isolated, maybe withdrawn. Somebody is. Somebody's like a recluse, okay? Somebody may be antisocial, which isn't a bad thing, but somebody's got a you know, very restricted energy, and it's because they did the inner work and they ascended spiritually. And once you do that inner work and you become the light, you don't, you know, it's very hard to uh, yeah, integrate yourself with anything low vibrational. You need to find your, um, yeah... You need to find your soul tribe, right? Well, it looks like you're in the right place here. If you're into tarot, then you know what you're doing. You're on the right track. Show me what's coming in the near future. So you got to maybe, you know, this could be somebody that's not very sociable. They like to stay home maybe or, you know, they're fine with their own energy. Show me. Whether this is you or somebody else, show me. Show me Sagittarius. Here we go, Sagittarius. Look. So now you have, ooh, look at this shit. The magician and the high priestess. Now, that's a match. Okay, so this is somebody. First of all, you could be dealing with Gemini or Pisces uh, or somebody that has it in their chart. This is the alchemist. This is the magi. This is the master manipulator. This is somebody who puts the work and action in, the magician, manifestation, creation, resourcefulness, inspired willpower, okay, intellect. Somebody who's connected to source big time. Somebody's got some really... Somebody can manifest here like nobody's business. All they got to do is think of something and it appears. Somebody's very connected to source. Somebody's got a higher power. This is the keeper of the veil, okay? They know the secret. This person knows some kind of esoteric, metaphysical, spiritual secrets. Oh, my nose is going off the chart, Sagittarius. So whether this is you or somebody else, you know, who's ever got the Pisces, who's ever got the Gemini, I don't know. Somebody's manifesting something right out from source. Right from source, okay? Somebody's got, yeah. Somebody's got the power. I'm hearing, I got the power to do, oh, 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 oh. I'm hearing that, what is that, oh, there goes the nose, yep, I got the power, somebody's got the power, good for you, whoever you are, this could have been something you manifested, this, you know, very esoteric, metaphysical, like I said, show me, coming in, okay, so now we have, let's see, whoops, 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 two of wands, so at crossroads, but taking the lead and picking a path, coming out of a comfort zone, you know, this is like getting up off the couch and taking steps forward. Somebody's got some string lights maybe hanging in their room or outside of their window. I'm seeing like str string lights or little bulbs. I'm seeing pool sticks. Somebody likes to play pool. There's a globe. I'm seeing a red uh, van, like one of those red old vans, like a Scooby-Doo van. I mean, Scooby, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Okay, somebody just got their hair cut. Somebody's holding back here. Maybe saving money because they want to go, they want to take a certain, um, somebody could be saving money here for some kind of steps they want to take towards their future. Very enthusiastically going after what they want here with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this obviously could be you living in the moment, okay? Very charismatic and carefree spirited, right? This is the hero, the Knight of Wands. Going at, now listen, the Knight of Wands is the biggest player in the bunch, 
And I'm hearing rap is delight. Uh, uh, I'm the baby of the bunch, but that's okay. I still keep in stride. All I'm here to do is wiggle your behind. So somebody's wiggling their behinds, having fun, enjoying themselves and living their life here. Maybe going out and playing pool, but, you know, not overspending or being reckless. You know, somebody likes to wear, somebody's got a nose ring. Somebody likes to wear a, like a gold scarf around their head. I'm hearing villages, village, village. I'm hearing the village people. The village people? What the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. The village people. Are they still around? Um, I mean, YMCA. Maybe some of you like to go to the YMCA. YMCA. I'm serious. This is fun. Oh, man. Sagittarius, what are you doing? A blast from the past. The village people. So somebody lives in a village. <laughs> when something about the people in your village? I don't know. Three of Pentacles. So, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, shared goals and collaboration, building a good foundation to something here. I, you know, <laughs> wow, it is apprenticeship. It's putting effort in, it's maybe teaching or learning. Somebody likes to knit. Somebody likes macrame. Show me. Somebody could be a, a basket weaver. I, do they even have basket weavers anymore? Don't they do that on the factory now? Somebody can be like a basket weaver for some kind of a... Somebody likes to sit Indian style. Somebody's very bohemian. I'm hearing bohemian. Now I'm hearing bohemian rhapsody. I'm just a poor boy. <laughs> I don't know. Well, listen, what are you guys doing? Come on, give me some cards for Sagittarius. Here we go. So, yeah, look at this. Somebody here, you know, it's about give and take. It's about working together. It's benevolence. It's also somebody could, could have a handout. Somebody could be maybe wanting somebody else to do like the majority of the work here. With the Six of Pentacles, we are talking about generosity, though. Support, material help or monetary help. And who's ever getting it is appreciated, but somebody could be looking for a handout. I see I'm seeing a handout. Okay, I'm also seeing a pentagram. Somebody might have a pentagram. This might be something to you. Maybe it's a tattoo. Somebody has like a nice... Uh, teal color nail polish that they're wearing here okay so there's an emperor here nice coming in on a shelf so this is aries energy sagittarius i'm not gonna lie uh but what it is is you know obviously somebody that's very stable and dependable and logical um somebody who's very practical this person might be a little excessive in their behavior okay because it did come in on a shelf I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say completely like narcissistic. They might have some narcissistic, they might have a big ego. I'm not getting a bad feeling off this emperor, you know, on the shelf here. This person just might be larger than charge and they know it, right? They know their worth and their value and maybe they flaunt it a little, but I don't, I don't get a bad feeling off this. Three of wands. Somebody here is having foresight and confidence and they want to grow and they're taking the lead and they're gaining momentum and they're doing it. And what they're doing is getting away, moving away to common waters with the six of swords, leaving all the baggage, bullshit and burdens behind them and moving over to common waters. They're being very strong while they do this. Leo energy. They're having self-confidence and not having any self-doubt. This is about strength, bravery, and courage. And somebody's becoming a queen of pentacles, or they're dealing with a queen of pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Somebody very down to earth, hardworking, and stable. Oh, you got a king of swords, too. That's really nice. And then you have the ten of pentacles. So that's, you know, the Disney tale, fairy tale, happy ending. All right, look. Thank you so much. Could you please hit the like and subscribe? Let's do some kippers. It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. It's important. It's the right thing to do. It'll make you feel good. And whether or not you do it, Delilah, Tiberius, and I are sending you health, love, wealth, abundance, tenfold, to infinity and beyond, all right? Somebody could be expecting anything from a baby, male, lunch, or letter, or an apology, 28 or 10. But expectations. Somebody's got some high expectations. Okay, so you got the lovers, Gemini energy, for a soulmate contract that there's going to have to be a decision made. I have 51, 15, or 6. Also, 53, 35, or uh, 7. You got 25 or 52, or 7 again. And a gift. All right, somebody could be expecting a gift. Maybe it's their birthday or something, right? Here, oh, Jesus, we're not even turning that one over. There's a new pathway opening up here. Leo energy. If you were in some kind of dark night of the soul or chrysalis state or something like this, there's a pathway opening up. The butterflies represent transformation and rebirth and uh, rebirth here. And now there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Only you're not in the tunnel. You seem to be in the magical forest. So there you go. That's good. Okay. Um, so some of you could actually live in the country or be taking a walk in the woods. Somebody holds somebody in high honor here. 25 or 7. This is... Uh, 
You know, this could be somebody in the military, the law. This could also be somebody that uh, maybe just has respect for you. You know, in Brooklyn, if you say, I hold you in high honor, that means I have respect for you. Vice versa. So this could be somebody old. It doesn't have to be. It could be a decorated, like, soldier or something like this. Uh, th I'm seeing a Civil War reenactment, and I'm seeing spinning hubcaps. Well, I do live in Brooklyn. What do you want me to tell you? 17 or 8. Somebody could be holding somebody in high honor and giving them a gift, right? That may change the course of their life, I'm hearing. Somebody might get a gift that's going to change the course of their life. It's going to open up a whole new pathway. Because somebody's thinking about somebody. This is, maybe it's somebody from the community. It could be somebody from the community. Somebody's working hard. Uh, we might be getting married here. I don't know, Sag. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, this is what we're doing, Sagittarius. We're doing positive mirror magic. Go in the mirror and tell yourself how wonderful you are. Tell yourself how great you look. Tell yourself how wonderful you've done on this journey so far. We are proud of you, okay? The few, the proud, the light workers that have made it through, Sagittarius, you're doing great, okay? We love you. We're proud of you, and you keep going. Here you go. And repeat this positive affirmation. Today, I will not give in. Don't ever give in. Defeat. Surrender is not an option, I'm hearing. Today, I will not allow negative thoughts or feelings to prevent me from achieving happiness. Well, happiness is the highest vibration along with love and laughter. That's why we laugh on this channel a lot because it's very high vibrational. Okay. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, Sagittarius, love and light. We love you. Bye.